I'm going to coach you on how to do a transverse abdominal contraction. Your transverse abdominals are the deepest layer of your abdominal wall and they wrap all the way around to your low back. They are responsible for helping engage your pelvic floor, for drawing in your tummy, and also cinching between the midline of your abs. So if you have a hernia or a diastasis recti, this is a really important exercise because it helps stiffen the muscles between your abdominal wall to help keep that nice and engaged. So we're gonna start lying on your back. This is a really subtle contraction. So you're not even really gonna be able to see how you're doing it, but I'm gonna show you how to monitor at home. You're gonna take your fingertips and place them one inch on the inside of your hip bone. So you're lying on your back, knees bent, and your fingertips are resting right on the inside of your hip bone. And that's actually where you can feel your transverse abdominal muscles kind of stiffen and pop up as you do the engagement. So you're gonna start with a pelvic floor contraction because the pelvic floor contraction and your transverse abdominals work together. Kegel contraction, and then you're gonna think about drawing your belly in as you hold that Kegel contraction. You're gonna hold it here and then release and you'll feel a little engagement on the inside of your hip bones. So deep breath in, contract pelvic floor, draw belly in, and then relax. So it's very subtle. If you are gripping your tummy, you're overdoing it. This is a really small movement. So inhale, exhale, Kegel, draw the belly in, relax. And I can feel my abs stiffening on the inside of my hip bones. So I always just rest my fingers there to know that I'm doing this. And this engagement is really part of the foundation of strengthening your core and pelvic floor. If you're doing squats and lunges and crunches and push-ups and planks, and you're not activating your pelvic floor or transverse abdominals, you're really not getting the benefit and you're not engaging your pelvic floor and abdominals to give you that deep stability and pelvic floor strength. Let's do two more and take a break. Inhale, exhale, engage pelvic floor, abdomen draws up and in, relax. Exhale, engage, and then relax. We'll take a little break here and then we'll do two more sets of 10. Now the breathing is a little tricky with this. I often cue you to exhale as you're contracting, but if that just feels too confusing, don't even worry about your breath. I really just don't want you holding your breath. So I don't even care when you breathe as you're starting out, I just don't want you tightening everything and holding your breath at the same time. So if it feels too confusing to contract with the exhale, then breathe whatever way feels natural for you. Another set of 10, inhale. Exhale, engage. Pelvic floor and abdomen draws in, relax. Pelvic floor and abdomen draws in, relax. Keep going. And eventually you will bring this contraction into all of the movements and exercises that you do so that you can actively strengthen your pelvic floor. You don't just get a stronger pelvic floor and improve your diastasis recti from doing Kegels all day lying on the ground. <laughs> you really wanna learn this movement, finesse it, and then bring it into other workout routines and other daily activities. That's how we strengthen it. Inhale, let's do two more. Exhale, draw up and in. One more and then we have one last set of 10. Perfect. Okay, relax, shake it out. This time we're gonna to try to hold those contractions for five seconds. So working on the endurance a bit more. Inhale, exhale, draw up and in for five, four, three, two, one. Relax all the way. Again, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, and release. So you're feeling that muscle stiffen underneath your fingertips. Exhale, draw in, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, release, keep going. Kegel, belly draws in, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, release. Hold it here for five, four, 
three, two, one. Relax all the way. The relaxation is just as important as the contraction. And that's for every movement that you do to strengthen your pelvic floor. Three more, inhale, exhale, draw in, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. It's totally normal for you to start to feel fatigued when you're doing your last set of 10 of an exercise. Because that we want that muscle to get tired. That's how we know we're working it. Two more. Exhale, draw in for five, four, three, two, one. Good, last one. Again, that drawing in, you're pulling pelvic floor up and in, drawing in low abs and hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and release. So your goal is three sets of 10 of those. You can just start with a simple contraction and relaxation, and then you can work your way up to a five second hold.